why it's a windy day today. Whew. But it's pretty warm, so it doesn't really matter. We have been working on this mobile home that we bought, and it's ugly. This thing, it doesn't have much street presence. It has bars on all the windows because the guy that owned it turned it into a convenience store, if you can believe that. So we've done a whole bunch of videos on it so far, uh, but we figured we'd show you kind of how it looked on a windy day before we decided to start fixing up the front of it. So we're gonna try to give it a better street presence. We're out here in the country though, so it doesn't really matter too much, but nobody wants to live near an ugly house, right? And nobody wants to rent an ugly house. So one of the things the guy did when he had the convenience store is he put bars on all the windows because he had a lot of beer and liquor in there and stuff. And uh, so we're taking all that off. So that's the one of the first things we're gonna do. We gotta get rid of these bars. And then this deck on the front, look at that thing. Look at it. And then the underpinning of it. Now we've already done a lot. We've already cleaned up a lot. We had our buddy Tim come over and cut down a bunch of trees and brush and stuff. But the underpinning is this that cheap vinyl crap. We gotta do something better than that too. And then we may end up needing to paint it. So we got some issues. The top, we probably gotta paint the roof. So it's gonna, it's gonna need some work. Let me show you the deck a little bit while Donnie's working on getting the uh, the uh, window bars off. This deck collapsed whenever Donnie pulled one of the, the coolers out. The, uh, the handrail collapsed, <laughs> but the deck was about gone anyway. So there's the open sign, Ready. right? Ready. The top ones, Donnie. Hang on. I'm coming. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I think just taking the bars off the windows will really improve the appearance. What do you think? I'm about to find out. Lewis has to play dodge the bolt. Don't let it hit your head, Lewis. Yeah, I'm heavy. Well, keep on right there. <laughs> a little bit up, a little bit higher. Okay. Yeah, it's not light. There's big old rebar. <laughs> it was glued on. It was glue. No wonder. Now the 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 the, the bushes don't want to let go of it. Man, Donnie, it looks better already. Ultra también. Okay. All right. <laughs> For the next one. Me necesito de aquí de cárcel. You are not in jail. You can just walk around the bar. It's not even locked to anything. It's it just walk around and you, you don't have to be in jail. Yeah. If you put it on the ground, you're free. Yeah. There you go. Hey, yeah, you're out. <laughs> okay, so it looks a lot better just with the bars off the windows. We still have the bars on the doors because the door is all beat up. We gotta put a new door on. But that'll be gone too eventually. That helps it a little bit. And uh you know, the neighbor's house is a nice little mobile home. And then on this side as well. A nice little spot. So this is the, the one that's uh, whoring up the neighborhood. So we're trying to fix it up a little bit. Um, a lot of this is just this plastic crap. All that's got to go. But that's a good little start. 
All right, we even got the one off the end. We figured, hey, let's take all of them off. We don't need we don't need any of them on. Now that one really does look like the gel. <laughs> mucho, mucho borracho. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're gonna clean up a little bit out front here. Try to get these uh, these trees cut down. There's one there. We just cut one there. It's a big one. We got a boy with the machete coming around the side, cutting everything, cutting all the small stuff. We're we'll gonna try to clean it up a little bit, make it look a little more presentable out here. Okay, he's cutting there. It should start falling any second. Uh, we'll see here. Come on, baby. Fall. Maybe not. Maybe he's playing with it over there. Don't you love when they start moving the saw back and forth thinking that's going to help? Not yet. We're still waiting. Now he's going to pull them down. Tell nobody, but he's got the wrong limb. There, he's got the right one. Please don't hit me with that. I don't know that he realizes he's got that other one about three quarters of the way through. Where'd you find more tin? Man, I had to go all the way to Columbia to get that stuff. Okay, here you go. This is a typical mobile home around the windows. Like I was saying, brought it out. Bottom and top. The it's two by fours. And it's got one by ones or one by twos. Now them is one by ones. They go around it for the strapping. Basically, they put those in there, and then they uh, they drill the tin to that. But look at this: the boxes don't even have. They're not nailed to nothing. They're just sitting in the in the. Uh, they're just sitting right in the paneling or whatever they use. As, this one happens to be paneling instead of sheetrock. You see, they knock knock metal pipes through there to run the wires through but all these are two by threes they're not even two by fours i mean little tiny stuff and then they just nail the edges together and that's it um like we said before you see where the the uh, linoleum is outside here that linoleum is underneath them walls so these metal strappings here is basically all that's holding it to the floor. Um, and there's another, there's another box, there, an electrical box. These are a little older trailers than what I normally mess with, but even the banding around the bottom of it is two by four. There's none of these are two by sixes. I mean, it's just a, just a trailer, you know? That's how they're built. And like when they run the walls up, they just butt them up at eight foot. There's one, and uh, there's the seal plate. You can tell where they butted it up there. Let's put a little block in it. But there's nothing to them, really. That's the uh, that's the way they're put together. And every, it's that little piece of metal there. Every so often, they got one of them wings that come out and support it. So between there and there, there's no support. And that's actually where the, the two buys break. So... They put a little bit of foam. You can see right there, just ever so slightly, a little bit of foam in between those two two befores, and that's for insulation from the roof. And they've got a little bit of just regular old insulation there on it, so there's nothing uh, there's nothing major going on there. It's just little stuff. When you get inside, it's all just 
them little screws there hold everything together. Um, there's a wasp nest in there, so I ain't going in. And the floor is rotted pretty good. But basically what I'm doing over here on this, we've got another project coming up that we needed metal for. So I come over here and bought all the metal off of it. Had all the metal pulled off of this trailer, or this mobile home. Every bit of it's pulled off and I bought it. I also bought every bit of metal off of that trailer over there, if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Every bit of uh, tin off of that trailer. There's a problem getting tin. The tin uh, is about $80 a sheet, and you, you plus you gotta have shipping on top of it. So it's a little rough to find this stuff. So I had an opportunity, I jumped on it. We'll put it in storage. I need one sheet. Uh, maybe two sheets i need two sheets we'll put it in storage and do that but we'll walk the wet rest of the way around this trailer i don't know uh, how much my battery will hold here this is basically a bay window here and it was made out of two by twos also they don't use nothing bigger than a two by four on these with all these two by twos and uh two by fours that's all they use and all of it, see? This whole side, they've already pulled the, uh, they've pulled the metal off and the insulation out. And you see there, this one's got metal underpinning. And a lot of them did that, put that metal underpinning under it. Um, that was just a cheap way to do the underpinning. So, it's good. Here's the bay window in this backside. That thing's got a brand new water heater in it. But it ain't no good. I mean, it's good, but ain't no good to me. But anyway, that's how they make them. Figured uh, y'all would find that interesting. So there you go. There's the little bathroom. We got some more tin for our hole. We got something to it's gonna match so we're gonna be good with it it's a little it's, different color but it's gonna match so we're gonna be good with it the texture and all is the same the texture and all is the same but the color is a little different but the color is a little different <laughs> oh man he's taking off more donnie he, he's going the wrong way tell me he's supposed to put it up not take it down what he's doing he's going to put the full piece on the right put the small piece on the We've been cleaning up all of the bushes. Look at it, getting it nice and clean. Then we can landscape it. Donnie, we got to get rid of this little crap underneath the the the, uh, the skirting. Yeah, we've been talking what we're gonna do there. Um, I don't know yet. It's mucho feo. It is, but if you drive down the road, everybody's got it. That's yeah, but, what everybody's running. Yeah, but. Yeah. It is yeah. very ugly. Yeah. But that is uh, that's standard practice on a, on a mobile home. But we're probably going to change it. Boy, it about blends right in, doesn't it? It's getting there. It's getting there, Donnie. Yep. They're trying with everything they got to make it look decent. <laughs> It's the same texture and the same profile, but it's the wrong color. Ours is, ours is a, a Arctic white, Donnie. Ours is like snow, white as the snow, uh, the driven snow. But that stuff looks like it was green. It was green. But now some people would think it's just dirty white. Okay, we'll let them think that, but it's green. We're gonna have to paint the, the uh, mobile home, folks. We've already figured out how we're gonna do it. Tell them how we're gonna do it, Donnie. White and brown, white and brown. White and brown. We're gonna put it white. The body, what they're working on there is gonna be all white. That's gonna be all white. All white. The body. The green little stripe at the top is gonna be brown. That's gonna be brown. Now what about the gray roof with rust on it? It's gonna be white. We got some extra white that I went to uh, Florida to get. Yep. You need to go back and watch that video if you hadn't already. That was a pretty good trip. Exactly. But we'll paint the top of it white because that's what we've got. And, and it's gonna it's gonna reflect the sun so bright it's gonna blind the people driving by. Yeah. It's, They're gonna um, people are gonna come from miles around. It's silicone. 
Uh, talk about how nice the roof looks with that white paint. But y'all need to go back and check it. It'll stop any kind of hole. Yeah. But anyway, we got that. So we're going to paint the top of it white. That green stripe up there is going to be brown. Uh-huh. Yep, brown. The, uh, the little green at the windows, they're going to be brown. Yep. This other green down here, we're going to take it off. Yep. Because we're, gonna... we're missing some. See how we're missing some people? We're missing some there and there. And I was going to go around behind the trailer. There's none on the back mobile of the Mobile home. Mobile home. I'm sorry. And pull it off of there and put it up here. But there ain't nothing back there. Yeah. So we're going to take all that off. Yeah. And we'll paint us a stripe right now. It's yeah. going to be a big, fat racing stripe. Yeah. It's going to look so cool. It's going to look awesome. And then, down on the bottom of that thing, we still ain't decided. We're, uh, we're leaning towards... Uh, Masonite siding. No, Donnie, we're not gonna do Masonite. We're not doing Masonite? It, it, it'll get wet. It's oh. outside, it rains. Okay, we're leaning towards. Hey, remember, remember uh, Thursday? Thursday. Remember how the water was falling right out of the sky? Oh, yeah, it was falling bad. Thursday was horrible. Just think if that happens again, all that Masonite would get wet. Well, they call it Masonite siding, though. Yeah, but junk. Okay, so we're gonna put something down there, and uh, we might go with bricks again. We might do brick. Maybe, maybe uh, go with like a brown brick to match the brown stripes on the side, so, and make it look like Hollywood up in here. Our guys uh, excel in brick. They're good at brick. They like brick. They love brick. They want to do block. They like block, but block looks cheap. And another thing, Donnie, you were talking about block. If we do block, it'd be hard to get it where it hit the... We hit, might still end up doing block. Where it hits the bottom thing. right at the block. We might do block on the back. We don't know yet. Mm -hmm. um, this plastic, I don't know that I want it even on the back. Yeah. But... We'll see. The, uh, the brick is pretty expensive when you go to... That brick cost a fortune last time. It's like... Uh, I believe about 30 cents per brick installed, something like that. Yeah. Um, after you buy the brick, the the mortar, and the labor, it's something 25, 30 cents a piece. Something like that. So every, that was the main question we got asked in that last video about the brick. How much did it cost? We'll have to keep track of it if we so, do it this time and figure it it's out. It's something about like that. All right, they're going to keep working it. Temporary fix, you know, just till we get to paint the whole thing. It blends in pretty decent, Donnie. This can, I found it laying on the side of the road. You see all the rust on it? And it says it's made in 95. So, it can't be that old. That's what it says. <coughs> hmm. I don't think that's what that means. Um, I like it. Hmm. Well, it does look like a used can, though. Well, we hide the, our little repair until we get to paint the rest of it. All right, we're going to keep at it. My case knife probably won't never be the same. Easy killer. Case knife's back. Maybe easy, thank you, boy. Maybe I'll let you or Imano to check it. I'll see my own way. Okay. Let's sit the clean poquito mass and then put silicone. Necesito poquito de clean. 
so this is the other one bust up in little pieces but we got it out of there that's the main thing right get it out so that's what we did it's got blocks all the way around it that's good so we'll uh we'll be able to just screw this other one right in there i got some small uh, roofing screws like 10 screws we're going to use for it i'll bring you over here and show you those i'm going to use these screws here it's got rubber washers on it. they're designed for 10 but uh we're going to use them for this so here we go that's what we're going to use they're uh the one inch number 10s so we'll stick them in there they got the rubber washers on them so they shouldn't leak and on the side like that it would be hard for them to leak with rain coming down on the edge of them you know when you put them in the roof rain is like standing on them and it gets them to leak so it running down that wall like that it should take a while for them to start leaking so i got a box of those here um we had those at the building so we're going to use those to do it and uh, we got some pretty good silicone here. Let's, uh, well, I'll show them this silicone here. We got this silicone here is pretty good stuff. It's designed to use with uh, with gutters. These guys are all gutter guys, so they love that caulk. So I got a case of it here a year or so ago. And uh, it's just stupid money. Uh, I didn't realize... Uh, I thought a case was like at Home Depot when you buy a case and you get 12, uh, 12 tubes, 10 tubes, whatever it is. And uh, no, their case is like 36 tubes. So I got 36 tubes and they're telling me like $100. I'm like, damn, that's a lot of money. But I didn't realize there was 30 tubes in there. I thought it was 12 tubes. And uh, it was like $10 a tube is what I thought. But when I get the case, I got a huge amount for nothing. <laughs> Or not for nothing, but, you know, a huge amount. This stuff here, I've got a bunch of this stuff. I got a, a deal. Um, this here. It is uh, roofing silicone. Um, weather sealing. It's an actual silicone for roofs is what it's for. It's 100% silicone. But anyway, what I'm going to do with it, it's expired if you see that couple of years out of date um but anyway what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use i got a case of it it was like 15 tubes in there or something 15 18 tubes what i'm gonna do this seam between the bricks and the building i mean bricks in the home i'm gonna go around and silicone all the way around make sure it's nice and airtight where i can't get no drafts through there and uh, if water comes down the face of this thing, it won't roll over and go inside. I'm going to stop it off. So we're going to go all the way around this thing, waste all 15 tubes, get rid of them, be done with them, and uh, laugh about it later. So he's getting that in. And then we're going to uh, we're gonna put that other, we're going to run silicone around the bottom side of it. And I've got to go around and touch up. There's a bunch of holes in the bottom and the tin. I've got to go around and touch them up. But he's still working on this. Trying to get all that silicone off. That's actually tar. That wasn't silicone. Somebody tarred it. Which is making it 10 times harder to come off. If it was silicone, it stays kind of pliable. That stuff ain't pliable. It's basically tar. Somebody probably had roofing tar and went around and hit it. Look, we're gonna see what we can do with it. See if we can get it handled here. Okay, y'all, we got it installed there. Cleaning the silicone off. sealed in there real good
Y bueno. There it is. There you go, y'all. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up for filming it. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already, and we'll catch you on the next one.